a nice big one and two. Hello, I'm Leah. I'm setting up for a game of hopscotch. I've drawn the hopscotch course and now I'm writing in the numbers. Have you ever played hopscotch? Now a three and four. Oh, oh no, uh-oh. I think I'm running out of chalk. I don't have enough to finish all the numbers. See, there's hardly any left. I've spotted something. Chalk is hard and solid. And when I draw with it, it leaves a mark on the ground, but the stick of chalk gets smaller. Eventually, it disappears altogether. I have a question. I wonder if I could make my own chalk from something that I can find around the house or garden. Huh. I was just about to empty this compost. I wonder if there's something inside here I could use. Let's have a look. Ooh. Carrot skin? Mm, no, I don't think so. How about eggshells? Ooh, that could work. Let's investigate. Come on, it's science time. For this experiment, you'll need eggshells, a mortar and pestle, or an electric grinder, one large bowl and mixing spoon, flour, water, food colouring, and baking paper. Welcome to the Science Time Lab. Are you ready to experiment? I'm thinking if I grind down these eggshells into a fine powder and then mix some flour and water, I could make my own eggshell chalk. And finally, finish the hopscotch course. Let's begin the experiment. Now, eggshells need to be clean and dry. You just have to make sure that you've removed all of the membrane. Do you know what a membrane is? It's this thin film inside the eggshell that protects the yolk of the egg. We don't need it for this experiment, so I've removed it. And I just have to do one last piece. So here we go. It's very fragile and it might break, but if it does, you just keep going like this. There. Done. Now, I need to grind the eggshells. Now, you could use a mortar and pestle, but today I'm going to use this electric grinder. So, you'll need a grown-up to help you with that part. So in go the eggshells. And on goes the lid. And this is where it gets noisy. Here we go. Wow, it's really noisy. It's gonna take a while. Let's have a look. Here we go, take the lid off. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! Wow! The eggshells have been ground down into a fine powder. Now I just need these eggshells to have a chalky texture because we need to make it into a piece of chalk somehow. So I'm going to mix in some flour and water. So in go the eggshells. And two teaspoons of flour. And three teaspoons of water. One, two, three. And how about, oh, exciting, some blue food coloring. we are. And now, for the fun part, let's mix it all up. This could get a little messy. Let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. It's time for science. 
and scientifically Maybe we'll make a discovery Mixing up the eggshells Mix it till it's blue Let's see what it will do What will we see? You and me Let's experiment! What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery Ooh Just added a few more drops of water because we want the mixture to be like wet sand. Oh, it's looking good. Now, I'm going to put it onto this baking paper. And I know it doesn't look like a piece of chalk yet, but I'm hoping that it will work like a piece of chalk. There it goes. Ooh. Here we go, pat it down. And now we'll roll the baking paper like this. Pat it down, over and over. And then fold up the ends. And now we just wait for it to be completely dry. Now, if you want to speed things up, you could get a grown-up to help you and you could put it in the oven on a low heat. But I'm not in a hurry, so I am going to find a nice sunny spot for this to dry. Let's see what we discovered. I left the piece of chalk to dry for a few days and look, it dried into a solid piece of chalk. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see if this eggshell chalk will work. Here goes. One, two, three. And remember, we didn't finish the four. So here goes. Oh, wow. Look at that. My goodness. It works. It's, oh, it's great. Oh, let's keep going. Five. Seven. How good is that? Oh, this eggshell chalk works just as well as the chalk we used before. A scientific success, yes! Eggshells are made up of something called calcium carbonate. When I ground the eggshells down, I created a powder, and that's what leaves a mark on the concrete. The flour and the water acted like glue, and that helped bind the calcium carbonate, and it makes it look like chalk. Now, hopscotch numbers are all finished, and there's only one thing left to do, and that's play hopscotch. Come on, can you hop with me? Let's go, join in. Hop, hippity hop. Hippity hop, bouncy bouncy, hop, hippity hop, hippity hop. Ah, great hopping. Did you hop, hop, hop? Well, maybe you'd like to make some eggshell chalk or make a hopscotch course. So discover your way with some science time today. Bye.